hey what's up guys welcome back you're watching for take so this is a legendary device oneplus 6 i am using it from last six years and it's never disappointed me in terms of third party development so lots of users still using oneplus 6 and 60 i currently installed my favorite custom rom super hero s android 13 latest build of november 2023 but the great developer optimus prime released an alpha build of android 14 based super hero s yesterday we all are eagerly waiting for this. So today we will check out the flashing of non retrofit build up Android 14 base superior OS. This time flashing process is different so don't miss this part. We will test its all functions thoroughly so you can confirm is it really alpha level build or not. We will check out all the working features of Android 14 available in the ROM. ROM side features currently added by the developers along with the performance comparison with the Geekbench. Finally, I shown some bugs with my final verdict. Is it really makes a sense to use this alpha build or not? So watch the video till the end. Now with the further ado, let's get started. New adventure. If you are still on the Oxonos 11.12 then please check another video link available under the video description how to flash the superior OS from the scratch. Once you will be on the custom ROM, download the full superior OS under 14 ROM zip file. Its link is given under the video description. Flashing instructions for OnePlus 60 are different because that is using the dynamic partition scheme. Its written instructions are also available under the video description. Your OnePlus 6 must be on the TWRP 3.7 installed on it. In the TWRP tap install and flash the ROM zip file. Once flashing gets done, now tap reboot and select reboot to recovery. This will boot your device into the superior OS stock recovery. This step is important. Once device boots to the stock superior OS recovery, tap format data and do formatting of your phone's data and then reboot to system. That's it, phone started to boot into the superior OS. Welcome to the brand new world of Android 14 for your OnePlus 6. ROM has the default launcher as a superior launcher which has lots of customizations that we will check under the ROM feature section. Let's check out the above device details. So finally we got the Android 14. Superior version is the Alpha 14. This is a new easter egg of Android 14 upside down cake which comes with something unique space war type of game inbuilt. Security patches of latest number 2023 with the help of great developers OnePlus 6 and 60 still getting security patches until 2023. Kernel version is also upgraded to the premise kernel 4.9.337 which has kernel to support inbuilt. It's built with the Google's Clang toolchain 17.0.2 with the lots of optimization which is making this device smoother than ever. Say Linux is permissive. So we got everything like new source code, new Android 14, new kernel, etc. That all new devices still didn't got this called as power of modding and custom ROMs. Now as this is alpha build, I tested thoroughly like Wi-Fi, hotspot features, NFC, GPS locations, Bluetooth with the HD or the codex device support, OnePlus alert slider, all the things are working fine without any issues. All the VLT HD calling with the call recording and Wi-Fi calling are available without any mic issues. I tested all the sensors like light, proximity, gyroscope, mic, ear proximity. All the things are absolutely fine. SafetyNets is also getting passed and all the banking applications are also working that I tested like Axis, mobile banking application, phone pay, etc. So 99% things are working but the minor bugs are there that we will discuss at the end of this video so watch the video till the end. Now we will check out interesting features of Android 14 available in the ROM. Under the wallpapers and style setting who gets lots of new lock screen clock widgets and they are looking very nice with the double line and always on display feature. We can add multiple application shortcuts at the bottom corners of the lock screen. Next thing is the new AI generated wallpapers and AI emoji wallpapers. Both are available under the live wallpaper setting here. AI wallpaper setting is working but it has some flaws that we will discuss under the bug section. 
Similarly, AI emojis wallpapers are working. Here you can add multiple AI emojis, their patterns and colors, etc. And they are giving nice scrolling animation effect while scrolling the wallpaper and unlocking the phone. This one also has some issues which we will discuss under the bugs section of the video. Under the QS panel, who gets the new linear font tile which helps to increase or decrease the fonts of the device on the go. New monochrome font style based digital well-being tile is available under the QS panel but this is not working at all. But the new magnification gestures with the different zoom modes, zoom size slider and accessibility shortcuts are working very well and it is available under the accessibility setting of the phone. Under the notification settings, who gets the new Android 14 flash notifications for the camera flash and display flash. Both are working well but display flash has the different customization and it's working very well. Now let's check out the superior lab customization features. As this is the alpha build, most of the things are blank under the superior lab setting. Only things currently available is the navigation gesture bar customization. Under the display setting, who gets the lost screen double line and the always on display setting, both are working. Double tap to wake lock screen toggle is available, it's working, but it has some bugs that we'll discuss under the bug section. Except this, OnePlus setting or any other pixel system gesture customizations are not available in the ROM. All the features will be added in the upcoming builds. But the ROM has highly customizable superior launcher which has lots of customizations like app drawer icon theming, double tap to sleep on the home screen, wallpaper zoom in, wallpaper scrolling, app drawer icons, background transparency control. Recent panel has the memory info, screenshot, lens and clear all toggles which are helpful to handle the recent panel as compared to the stock pixel launcher. Under the miscellaneous setting, who gets the app lock feature which is very helpful for locking applications with the pin, password or using fingerprint. Now comes the most important part. Does the ROM has the stock Oxonos camera or not? Yes, of course, it has fully working Oxonos camera with all the features like 4K 60fps, 4K recording, 180p 60fps, all are working well. Both the selfie and the main camera portrait modes are working. Nightscape, slow motion video recording and the time lapse are also working. Here are some scenes I taken using the slow motion and the time lapse to test the functionalities and they are working perfectly. ROM comes with the fully working OnePlus Gallery applications too. ROM has inbuilt game space application in the app drawer and it is the same game space application that we are watching from the last all the videos. And it has the capability to create the immersive gaming experience with all of its advanced setting. Best thing of this ROM is that it comes with the kernel SU. Now Primus kernel supports the kernel SU so we can enjoy a rooted phone without breaking the security of highly secure banking applications. So what about the performance? In one word if I can describe I never felt I am using the 6 year old device. It's so buttery smooth for every activities. Still I did the Geekbench testing and this time results are way higher than any of Android 13 best custom ROMs. For single and multi-core we got a result of 542 and 2030. For OpenGL and Hulkan graphics we got the score of 1937 and 2258 respectively. So definitely Android 14 sources with the Primus kernel did a bad job to keep this old age device new one until now. So it's time to check the bugs in the ROM. AI emojis and all the functions are working but we can't able to change the colors of emojis which is always set as a default green color. This is a major bug. In same way AI generated wallpaper feature of Android 14 is not working properly in this ROM. Though it is creating the AI wallpapers but we can't able to set them as a wallpaper on the home screen or lock screen. Next issue I found regarding the OK Google Voice Assistant, Google application showing this device is not supported the Hey Google activation. Even the swipe edge gesture to enable the Google Assistant is not working in the navigation bar settings. You can only enable it by tapping the microphone icon of the Google widget. 
Next bug is that in camera, if you take the selfie portrait shots, they are not able to open in a default camera gallery. Who needs to manually open any gallery application to check that pictures? Sometimes 4K and 4K 60 FS shootings are works and sometimes they may lag. In same way, double tap to wake the lost screen. Toggle is working, but sometimes it's not working. Except these minor bugs, I didn't find anything that is deal breaking to use this ROM. In my words, it's a daily drivable build. Soon developers will release the beta and then stable builds with all the features of superior OS in the ROM. That time we will review all that builds in upcoming days, so stay tuned to our channel. Please do like and share this video, subscribe our channel, press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content to keep alive your OnePlus 6 and 60. Thanks for watching. Soonest time. Take care. Bye bye.